Josias, when he heard these, was stung by the insult to his honor, his uh, reputation, uh, which no Arab can endure, that injury and insult should be inflicted upon his guest, client, friend with impunity. Like I told you, if I'm there at someone's coffee shop and they drink coffee with me and then someone tries to injure me while I'm under his protection, that's a really uh, unbearable insult. Not to me, but to the, to the host, that they would dare, you know, do something to someone under his hospitality. I think if you remember this, if you know the Bible, there's a story of um, Sodom and Gomorrah, where um, Lot goes down to visit Sodom and Gomorrah, and he's already Abraham's already made a wager with God, and they've said that you know. I want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, but uh, and Abraham says, no, 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 don't do it. And he said, well, uh, what, 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 how would I stop you from doing it? And um, God's, Abraham says, a hundred just men. And Abraham says, that's too much. Uh, how about you know, 50? And then they can add 20. And then they can add 10. Okay, God says, for the sake of 10 just men, I will withhold destruction from Sodom. How many know that story? It's a biblical story, famous story in the Bible. And then Lot goes down there, and what happens to him? He's given hospitality in someone's house, right? And the Sodomites are known for being interested in um, anal sex, to put it bluntly, if I can put it straight from the television's worse these days, all the porn channels, so I know I can speak like this. Because 20 years ago you couldn't, but today you can, because unfortunately, Everyone's been acquainted with this, like it or not. Uh, even in Hollywood movies everywhere, so we all know what this is about. And the Bible is not to shy on these matters. And so the, the crowd gathers outside the house where there's guests have been received, locked as a guest in this house in Sodom. And what do they say to the man who owns the house? Send out your guests so we can abuse them. Meaning this kind of... Uh, sexual activity, which we now call sodomy, after this story, that we can sodomize them. Nasty story about the Hebrews about their neighbors. Well, what does Lot's host say? No, 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 I won't let these people go out to you. You know, no. What does he offer even? He says, yeah, yeah, take my daughters instead. That's how far he's willing to go. If you must behave like this, I'm honoring the bond of hospitality here. Take my daughters instead. And the, they refuse. And so, uh, I don't know what happens to Lot's host there, actually. I know, I know. Huh? You said what happens to Lot? No, I know Lot. I'm talking about Lot's host. I mean, he doesn't seem to get any credit in this story. <laughs> he, he should have been saved. No, Lot's is saved. And his wife turns into a pillar of salt, as we know. But uh, uh, I, know, I just remember, what about the host there? He, he behaved pretty well. He should be taken out with Lot, you know? Anyway, God sees this and he says, I'm going to destroy Sodom and pulverize the place. But, it, but in that story, we have an illustration of one of the virtues here. The guy was willing to honor hospitality bond to such an extent that he would offer his own daughters up instead of his guests. That's, that's going far. Do you know what happened to the host there? The host? Aren't the host supposed to be angels? No, no, no. Is Lot the host? Lot's the host. Oh, Lot's the host. The angels are the ones that visit. Okay, they send out angels. Okay, you're right, you're right. The, a lot is the host. I don't know what he's doing living in Sodom. I don't know what he's He's not a Sodomite. Oh, well, anyway, yeah. Lot offers a door. Okay, so he's saved because he's virtuous. I forgot. It's not Lot that goes down. It's angels going to have to be one. Yeah, see, I'm getting old. <laughs> And correct. I know this lady knows her Bible, this young lady, so I've got to be careful. Uh, I'm getting myself in trouble here. Okay, so she shames Jesus, and some days afterwards, having seen where Kulab had gone out, unarmed as it turned out, he followed afterward and slew him. Well, I don't consider that very honorable. To go after an unarmed man and sl slay him, that, uh, what's the virtue in that? I don't think this just as is a very virtuous person, frankly, in this picture here. But anyway, and he runs away, 
and he goes to his own people. And of course, here we have that whole thing of protection, like the like the Cain and Abel story. He goes to his people for protection because what's going to happen? Kulai's people have to do what? Avenge him. And uh, Mura, when he heard the news, Mura was the people that, um, who's Mura again? Uh, uh, God, it's very funny. You have to go back. Uh, the, he, he, he's the father of the wife, therefore he's the father of Jassas too. No, 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 you're not going to bring uh, 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 retribution on our people for what you did. You alone must pay for this deed. And uh, we'll uh, put you in chains so that Kulai's kinsmen can, can slay you. What you've done is terrible. By the stones of Wail, never will Bakr and Taglib have peace after this assassination or death of Kulai. All these killings in Iraq, by the way, are going to engender all this too. This is not going to just pass away, what's happening in Iraq at the moment. And um, not so much the Americans, although they're blamed to some extent.